This is a device called Pickup Notes. And the idea here is that this device manages uh, the quantized launching of clips, either audio or MIDI, that don't begin on downbeats. So you assign a clip to the device, and then that clip will launch precisely in time, as it normally would when using live's launch quantization, but earlier than the next downbeat. So let's talk a little bit about how live normally works and then why it doesn't work so well for this particular musical situation. So let's just listen to this clip for a second. Okay, so we have a pretty straightforward musical situation here. We have a two bar loop, but the two bar loop is preceded by a drum fill that begins before the loop. So we worked it out here and it begins on the end of three of the previous bar before the loop. And when you launch the clip by itself in live, it sounds fine. I should mention that I'm using live's default quantization settings here. So the global setting of one bar and the clip assigned to the global launch quantize which means that when I launch this clip, provided that the transport is already running, the clip will start on the next downbeat. But that isn't really what we want in this case. We want the downbeat to be here, but not here. We would like this clip to actually start in time with Live's global timeline, which means that the clip should begin on the end of three. And we don't hear this when the clip is playing alone, but if we launch this with a metronome, then we can hear what's going on. So I'll start the metronome first, and then I'll launch the clip, and you'll hear that it doesn't begin on the end of three, but instead on the downbeat. Okay, and now we're in this unpleasant case where the clip would sound fine on its own, but it doesn't sound fine alongside Live's metronome. It's a beat and a half out of sync. So the idea with the pickup notes device is that you select the clip that you want. You can have up to eight clips managed in the device at once. You can also have multiple instances of the device if you want. And once a clip is assigned, what we'll do then is launch the clip anywhere within the bar prior to the actual beat position where the, the events actually occur and the clip will then start before the downbeat by the necessary amount so that the loop start marker begins on a downbeat. So let's launch it one more time with, uh, with the metronome running. We can hear that that's out, then we'll assign it to the clip. We'll launch it again against the metronome. Now, the clip started early here, but began on so that the beginning of the loop was on the downbeat rather than the start marker of the clip. So this is a pretty different way of thinking about how uh, launch quantization works in live. You don't have to do anything special to the clip. You can leave the clip's launch quantization alone and just start anywhere before the end of three. Here we have another clip that starts on beat four. So this one is now a beat out from the metronome. We'll assign it instead. And we can hear that it begins in time. We can stop it again. And the clip begins now on Live's Beat 4. So there's a couple things that you need to think about when you're using this device. Um, if the transport is not running and you start a clip, the clip will begin immediately and on the downbeat. And this is not what we want. So in order to use this device, the transport needs to already be running when you launch a clip. 
uh, it's very different from the way that we're used to thinking about how lives launch quantization works. Another interesting thing to note here is that the start marker can be more than a bar before the loop that you want. And the device will just measure the offset from the next place where the downbeat is. So in this case, we have a start marker that's one full bar plus one and a half beats before the loop. And this will still work. So we can assign this clip now, start the metronome. The start marker can also be within the clip. So if we wanted this clip to start on beat four within the loop, this will still work as expected. So we can start the metronome. And the clip begins playback on beat four within the loop. So whether the start marker is before the loop or within it, we measure the distance from the next relevant loop marker uh, in order to launch. So there's certainly some quirks with this. Um, the fact that the, the transport already needs to be running does mean that you need to change the way you're, you're, you're working in live a bit from what you're used to. But this, uh, this device can help to work with clips that are intended to begin uh, before the downbeat.